Um, we are at this little place where there's loads of children. This girl here, they didn't have anything to eat, so she went to the supermarket and asked for help. And uh, the supermarket owner says, we're not a charity, we're a business. Just then, Basar happened to be upon them, and he, 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 he said to his brother, go to the house and give them whatever they have, so that they can help them. And the brother said, we don't have anything to give. He says, give them whatever we have. And at that point, the supermarket owner says, I think you are not better than me. I am better than you financially. I will help them. So this is, reminds you of the situation of when the Sahabas did Hijrah to Medina and how the, the, they were helped, the Sahabas in the people of Medina helped them. This reminds you of those situations. So my brothers and sisters, if they can help, we should continue helping. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. My brothers and sisters, in media they said Madaya, but there is a lot of uh, village or countries or uh, cities like Madaya, for example, Daraya. This family, they are refugees from uh, Daraya, it's near Damascus. They are refugees about 400 kilometers to be safety. And Sheikh Muhammad Saeed across at this house, we cannot say house, it's just room. And he will tell you what he saw inside it. Basically, it's, uh, first of all, to, to be brutally honest, at least they got a shelter to live in. The shelter is basically one room for sleeping, sitting, everything. There's a little kitchen in the back and a toilet and they bath and toilet in the same room. But at least it's better than being in the area where they were, there is no food, no water, no, no basic needs. So at least, alhamdulillah, they are here and we should inshallah give them something. Visit caravanofmercy.org or contact us on 0116-276-3344. Caravan of Mercy, serving the needy.